hello and welcome to cracksoid i am back with a new video and today i have installed latest rice droid version 10.1 on my redmi node 8 and in this video i am going to show its new features customizations antutu benchmark score gig pen score safety net status cpu throttling test result and many more of this rice droid rom so without further ado let's start So first of all, I am going to show its about phone section. You can see device is Kingco, which is Redmi Note 8, and this is the official latest Rice Droid version 10.1, which has Android 13, and also have the latest security update of January 5, 2023. And in this room, Mio kernel is used. Now I'll show the change logs in this version of Rice Droid. You can see the change logs on the screen. It has some change locks like fixed 48 megapixel camera, move Xiaomi parts to system setting, Mew kernel used, fixed Play Store crash, miscellaneous improvements, and many more. First of all, I'll show you the Antutu benchmark score in this room, and as you can also see, the score is 157114, which is not a good score. After Antutu, I'll show the safety net status. I'll run a test and safety net compatibility test is passed. Also on Play Protect certification device is certified, which means you won't get any problems while using banking apps in this room. Now let's take the Geekbench score and as you can also see the score for single core is 191 and for multi core the score is 873, which is also not satisfying score in terms of performance. After this Geekbench, I'll show its CPU throttling test results. I have tested for 5 minutes 2 times back to back and you can see the results. At first it has throttled to 90% and second time it has throttled to 89%. This ROM does not offer great performance but you can get tons of customization in it in compared to other ROMs. Now let's check which camera is used in this room. It has MI camera used which is really a good thing and even more 48 megapixel camera is working as it was mentioned in its change logs. And all the features in this camera are working perfectly. Also if you want to use Google camera then Gcam works without any error. Now talking about phone dialer, this dialer has auto call recording as well as smart mute option and also you won't listen call recording announcement in this room. Now talking about its smoothness, you can see how smooth this room is. I am not facing any lags while scrolling and swiping over the screen. Also you will notice that very few apps are pre-installed. I am using the core variant and it has play store included in it. There is also another AOSP version of this room which does not have Play Store and I tried basic Nick G apps but it was causing Play Store crash so I shifted towards this core version and it's working perfectly. Also in this app drawer you will find this extreme saver app which is basically an extreme battery saver. So now in this rice droid you will be getting both normal battery saver as well as this extreme battery saver features. Now talking about its wallpaper and styles, you won't find any wallpapers except the default one but wallpaper colors and basic colors are present with other features like dark theme, themed icons and app grid. Now it's time to see which launcher is used in this room and as you can see this has sushi launcher available. Also you can use split screen and free form windows feature like that. And inside its home screen, there is double tap to sleep option. And if you enable this, then when you double tap on home screen section, phone will turn off the screen. And I found one bug inside its recent section and that is even if you enable this lens option from quick action, it will not be seen in recent app section as you can see on the screen. There is screenshot along with clear all buttons, but lens is not appearing. And from miscellaneous, you can enable taskbar feature. It's very easy for switching apps and also you can use it for split screen. And we can also hide this taskbar just by long pressing on the bottom A's and also make it so by holding on the middle. There is hidden and protected apps feature from where we can hide and secure our apps. Also suggestion features is implemented in it. If you like this suggestion feature, you can enable from here. This is how quick setting tiles look like and this has some new tiles present like system profiles 
एफ पी एस इन्फो सी पी यू इन्फो वेदर वन हंड्रेड मोड स्कैन क्यू आर कोड एंड स्क्रीन शॉट एंड दिस स्कैन क्यू आर कोड डज नॉट सीम वर्किंग बट अदर टायल्स आर वर्किंग प्रॉपरली नाउ लेट्स इंटर इन टू सेटिंग सेक्शन एंड चेक वॉट्स इन साइड दिस एट फर्स्ट इन साइड सेटिंग नोटिस इट हैज यूनिक इंटरफेस दैन अदर्स एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो चेंज दिस इंटरफेस टू सिक्स डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स which will completely change the look of settings and make it look unique than others and you can use any available styles according to your choice and from network and internet you will find private dns along with connectivity check feature and in this private dns lots of custom dns are included which is a good step and inside app setting you will find game space feature is missing there but you don't need to worry about it cuz game space feature is available in this room but in different place follow this video to find game space feature inside battery setting you will find a battery level animation and by tapping it you can access to battery uses section also in this battery setting there is view uses for past 24 hours present along with battery saver adaptive battery battery optimization and battery temperature and inside battery saver you will find extreme battery saver option present and inside display setting there is adaptive brightness along with screen timeout and this screen timeout maximum limit is 30 minute and also screen attention option is present in it which will prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking on your phone also inside display dark theme is present but no custom dark theme is available here inside its security both face and fingerprint unlock is present and device is encrypted as well button navigation setting only hold for assistant is present but you can switch between apps by double tapping recent navigation buttons and other navigation settings are shifted in another place which i'll show later in this video and inside gesture setting hide ime button space is present other gesture settings like quickly open camera one handed mode press and hold power button for power menu or digital assistant and prevent ringing is also present and saumi parts is now shifted inside system setting which have features like mi sound enhancer clear speaker display color calibration lcd features and vibration control you can update to its latest version through its updater setting in this rise droid you will get tons of customizations inside it you can access to its customization center from its personalization section here at first there is about us section from where you will get to know more about rise droid as well as the meaning of rise in rise droid you can read that from here inside its button setting there are lots of buttons related customization included this long press for torch option and this will turn on the flashlight when you long press power button while the screen is off Inside its lock screen also there are lots of lock screen related features which includes battery info which will basically display battery information when charging and ripple effect as well as access power button on lock screen is present and from miscellaneous you will find this game space feature that you are looking for and along with this game space it has this parallel space feature too which now most of the custom rooms are providing Also inside miscellaneous you will find more features like smart charging sensor block per package unlock higher fps in games unlimited photo storage netflix spoof pocket detection and weather settings The missing navigation settings are included inside here which have features like pixel animation for button navigation so arrow keys while typing layout invert layout and other actions related features if you like to use button navigation then you'll be happy to see these features and inside notification retickle is present with other options like four stop button heads up and blink flashlight for incoming calls and inside its quick setting you'll find lots of battery and clock related features with battery estimate option and hide qs on secure lock screen and inside sound pulse as well as volume steps option is present and inside status bar you'll find lots of status bar related features like network traffic indicator wifi standard logo and many more 
and inside user interface there are features like screen of animation monet engine and theme engine and inside theme engine you can change clock font style here different unique clock fonts are available for lock screen as well as you can change the nav bar style and qs panel styles and there are four different qs panel style in this room which looks really cool and if you want to change setting styles you can change it from here six different setting styles are present as i have already showed you so this is all about rice droid 10.1 which is based on android 13 on redmi node 8 so what do you think about this room you can share your thoughts and experience on comment section below this room is smooth as well as have tons of customizations and features inside it you should definitely try this room if you love doing customizations Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button share this video comment down below and subscribe to cracksoid youtube channel also hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye